you can plot output characteristics of common emitter configuration transistor using three simple methods in multisim the first method is the simplest one that is using iv analyzer the second method is using dc swap analysis and the third method the last but not the least one it is like doing it on an actual hardware board we'll connect the circuit we'll note down the readings and then we'll plot the graph in excel sheet so all of this method is coming up in this video so stay connected and at the end of the video i'll assure you that you will be master of all these three methods so now without wasting time let's get started this is the setup of our previous video in that video we have learned how to plot input characteristics of common emitter configuration of transistor and if you want to watch that video the link is in description below and above here in card and now here we are going to move for the output characteristics of transistor there are three methods and we'll start with very first one and for that we will go to a uh, new design design one and from this we are going to use the same transistor so we'll copy this and we'll paste this transistor over here and from right hand side from this toolbar we'll take iv analyzer here it is over here you can see that there are varieties of instruments and if you want to learn how to use all these instruments then you can check out my multi sims playlist because in that playlist i have explained the working of all those instruments and in upcoming videos i'm going to explain the remaining ones so you can check out that thing later on now we are going to explore this thing this is our transistor bc548 and this is our iv analyzer just double click this analyzer and over here you can see components so from here you need to select the components uh, the first is diode then bjt pnp bjt npn pmos and nmos so our device is bjt npn once you have selected the component then over here you can see the diagram it shows that the first terminal is base the second one is emitter and the third one is collector so just close this thing and see over here the first one is base right so this is a first one we connect the base with the first one the second one is emitter so the second one is emitter and the third one is collector so this is how we are connecting it now just click and run isn't it very simple so it is the simplest method to plot the vi characteristics of transistor but it is not that much detailed you can see the readings right over here there is a trigger line so this is the highlighted point so over here you can see the readings of voltage as well as current so this voltage will be collector emitter voltage and this current will be collector current over here you can see it is the base current and by clicking over here you can shift this thing and clicking over here you can shift it to right hand side if you want to measure reading of any of this graph just click on that graph and the reading will shift so now it shows the reading of this green graph the base current is 2 milliampere and when you shift this thing you can observe the change in voltage as well as current you can click any of these places and you will be able to get the reading of those graph now if you click over here it will change the background color if you again reverse it it will turn into black here it is simulation parameter for that you need to stop this thing click on simulation parameter so source name is vce you can set starting and stopping voltage you can set the increment from here whatever the step size you want to set you can set it from here right and it is for base current starting current stopping current and the numbers of steps you want here it is 10 so you will be able to see 10 graphs so if i'll change from 10 to oh, let's say 3 right and press ok and then run it again so now you will be able to see only three graphs the base current is one 
then it is 5.5 and then it is 10 so it takes three value from 0 to 10 so just close this thing so this is how you can plot the output characteristics of common emitter configuration of transistor if you have liked this method then do not forget to hit the like to this video and now we are going to explore the second method so this is the circuit of our previous video the input characteristics of a transistor and the same circuit we are going to use in this video also and in this video i'm not going to repeat the same thing of how to prepare this circuit and if you want to learn all those things input characteristics and how to prepare this circuit then you can check out that video the link is in description and above here in card now what we are going to do we'll start the second method and that is dc sweep and for that we'll go to simulate in simulate we'll go to analysis and simulation and in that here there is dc sweep so click on dc sweep here we have source 1 our source 1 will be vce why our source 1 will be vce in our previous video the source 1 that was vbe because in that video we want to plot the input characteristics and that is in between base emitter voltage and base current but here we are going to plot the output characteristics the output characteristics is basically in between collector emitter voltage and collector current so that is why our source number one will be collector emitter voltage so we have selected collector emitter voltage over here we want to change this collector emitter voltage from 0 volt to 20 volt and the step size we want that is 0 0.1 for fine tuning now you need to select use source 2 over here the source number 2 is VBE because in small segment we are going to change VBE when we change VBE indirectly we are changing base current so for several base current we want different characteristics for base current 10 microampere will get one characteristics for 40 microampere will get another characteristics for 80 microampere will get another characteristics so like that way we want to plot different characteristics for different base current and that is why we are selecting VBE over here so the starting value is 0 stopping value is 5 and the increment is 1 or uh, yeah 1 is enough and now we'll go to output so click on that and uh, in output we want uh, this is base current and this one is collector current so at output we want collector current add collector current <clears throat> and now save you can save it or you can directly run it from that tab let me show you that analyze you can save it and you can directly run this thing from here so run and in just a click the complete output characteristics is ready You can control various parameters of this graph like you can change the color of this graph you can change the selected points the shape of that points just double click over here and you can change you can configure so many things in this graph in traces left axis bottom axis and all these things i have explained in our previous video so i'm not going to repeat all those things over here too so if you want to learn all this configuration parameters understand how you can change and you can make this graph looks more appealing then you must watch that video over there you will get explanation of all of these things right so you can check out that video later on now close these things and finally now we are here for the third method this third method is more similar to doing it on an actual hardware board right so what we are going to do the circuit is ready in front of us over here you can see this is emitter this is voltmeter this is voltmeter and this is emitter so we'll change the voltage in steps we'll note down the readings and then we'll plot that graph into excel sheet so first of all we'll change this voltage source from dc voltage to dc interactive voltage source so right click over here replace the component instead of power source use signal voltage source and in that use dc interactive voltage click ok and done now double click this source 
and uh, uh, the maximum value that we want to go for is uh, 20 volts right and initially uh, from 0 to 1 volt we want the increment of 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so 0 0.1 uh, volts increment we want initially so for that we'll keep it as 0 0.5 percent 0 0.5 percent of 20 will become 0 0.1 volt so that is why we are keeping 0 0.5 volt over here press ok and uh, see now when i press a it shifts 0 0.1 right so now what we'll do we'll set the voltage of this vbe so now initially we are going to plot the reading for 10 microampere of base current so we'll set this base current as 10 microampere and then we'll take reading of this output voltage versus collector current so first of all double click it and make it 0 0.72 when you give it 0 0.72 it will take 10 microampere how I have found this value 0 0.72 for 10 microampere that I am going to explain at the end of this video. I am keeping that part at the end of the video because I don't want to break the link. So the base current is 0 0.72 and now we are going to run the simulation. So initially the output voltage is 0. The base current is almost 10 microampere. You can see it is 10 microampere. And now we will note down these readings right 0 volts reading is this much at 0 0.1 the current is 227 microampere 0 0.2 current has doubled so you can see at 0 0.2 volt current has increased a lot for 48 microampere for 70 microampere for 77 so now you can see the change is gradually reducing from 0 to 0 0.1 the change is large from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 changes large but after 0 0.2 in 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 the change is not that much large right so 0 0.5 485 0 0.6 492 0 0.9 and 1 so at 1 volt the current is 521 microampere so after 1 volt i want the increment of 1 volt so for that i'll stop the simulation double click it and instead of 0 0.5 i will make it 5 percent now let's run it again so the reading of 1 volt is 521 microampere 2 594 3 666 4 739 5 volts 812 now i'll going to take readings after 3 volts so at 8 volt it's 1 milliampere now at 12 volts it's 132 milliampere 16 volt and 17 volt it's 1.684 milliampere and at 20 volt that is 1.92 milliampere so these are the complete set of reading for current the base current of 10 microampere right now what we'll do now we'll repeat the same process but the video will be in fast forward you can observe the readings the readings will be visible to you on your screen right using the same process we can take the readings of 50 microamperes base current and 100 microamperes base current but that thing we are not going to do in this video because that reading i have already taken and now we are going to jump directly to the excel sheet to learn how to plot the graph from the reading so this is our excel sheet this is our vc voltage and this one is the corresponding ic current so to plot the graph let's select vce ic then select this vce ic then this one and then this one now after selecting this full data go to insert and click on recommended charts in recommended charts see these are the different charts that are recommended and the chart that we want is this one enter and the chart is ready now i'm going to show you some tricks to edit this graph first of all from here you can change the name of the graph output characteristics let's bring it over here now from here you can choose different styles for the graph see these are the different styles 
whatever styles you like you can choose for your graph let's keep it this style for our graph and from here it is the legends click over here you can change the location of the legends let's keep these legends on the top from here you can set the axis title so double click over here call it vce it's vc voltage over here you can write ic ic is in milliampere click on select data and from here click on series 1 go to edit and from here you can change the name of the legend it's 10 microampere and now you can see the legends are updated so the graph in excel is ready and now let's observe the graph using all these three methods the first graph is from IV analyzer. The second graph is from DC sweep. And the third graph is from Excel plot. And these are the three methods to plot the output characteristics of common emitter configuration of transistor. Now I'm going to tell you how to set the base emitter voltage source voltage to get appropriate amount of base current so let's quickly jump to the multisim so now i'm going to show you how to select this battery voltage to get appropriate base current see let's understand this thing when we run this transistor this base emitter junction will be in forward bias to keep this junction in forward bias this is at zero volt and this will be at 0.7 volt higher than the emitter voltage that means the base voltage is minimum 0.7 higher volt than the emitter voltage so the voltage of this point will take it as 0.7 volt the voltage over here we need to give is x to get the base current of 10 micro ampere so now the equation is very simple i is equal to v by r the voltage across this resistance will be the difference of x and 0.7 so x minus 0.7 divided by our r is 20 kilo ohm the current that we want is 10 microampere so 10 microampere multiply by this 20 kilo ohm is equal to x plus 0 0.7 and the result will be our x voltage so this is how i have got the battery voltage for any particular base current if you are not getting the exact current using this method the minor variation the fine tuning you need to adjust and that is because the change in this voltage right so now let's again jump to the important section of this video so i think now you are very much clear with the output characteristics of transistor so now i want to ask you a question which of the technique that you are going to use to plot output characteristics of common emitter configuration do not forget to write that thing in comments below and tell me which technique you prefer to plot the output characteristics. And there are so many other videos on Multisim tutorial is in the playlist of Multisim tutorial. You can go and check out that playlist. Right. So until we meet again in our next video till the time. Bye bye.